Ladies and gentlemen, our justice. Mere days after Justice Janet Protasewicz was publicly sworn in. What an awesome day for the state of Wisconsin. And with it, liberals taking control of the Wisconsin Supreme Court for the first time in 15 years, the fallout. This is really inexplicable. It's shameful, and they shouldn't be doing it. Chief Justice Annette Ziegler today, part of the court's conservative bloc, publicly blasting the new liberal majority after the four justices Friday voted to eliminate power from the chief justice and shift it to a new committee. And they basically took every place where it said chief justice, gutted it, and put a sham committee in its place. Is this now their ability, though, since liberals do have the majority? That's a really good question. You know, I've been on the court since, well, for 16 years. And in that period of time, there have been different majorities. But those different majorities don't come in like a wrecking ball. Justice Rebecca Dowlett not responding to an interview request today. In a statement, Friday accused Ziegler of refusing to meet, saying the changes will result in transparency and accountability. That's sort of a uh, lawless bullying method, which is not something that we do to each other as justices. You have to understand this court has had a level of dysfunction for a long time, and a level of distrust has come with that. Amidst the drama, the high court now preparing for numerous high-profile cases. Justice Brian Hagedorn telling us exclusively on Upfront. I hope voters will see that, that we will grow as a court that builds a culture that is applying the law. So that's my hope for us. So many voters hope for that as well. And Matt, Justice Ziegler's term as Chief Justice runs through 2025. The Chief Justice is elected to two-year terms by their colleagues. Wisconsin voters approved that change back in 2015. Before that, it was just the most senior member of the courts, Joyce. Political Director Matt Smith live in the newsroom.